Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I am looking at the problem which I faced while creating a measure. So what I wanted to figure it out like uh, based on the year today I wanted to get you know the orders for today uh, for the latest year. So in this case what I thought of using it hey why don't I simply go ahead and start using the filter function because what it will going to filter is uh, super store data and give me the filter give me the current year data right so basically in that case what happens is uh, it basically gives you the expression this error which says expression refers to multiple columns multiple columns cannot be converted to a scalar value now for a beginner it becomes like a problem like what does it really mean and how do I solve the problem in the end because uh, we want to get the uh, data that is related to the current year so to solve this problem so first thing first is filter function returns a table right and that is why what current year is expecting is to basically get the one value but what you are returning is multiple value in a table because filter returns a table right so what you can do in this case is if you are trying to get the uh, latest year information as a single value wrap it around a function which will give you the aggregated value or the one value which you wanted to get like current year and uh, before I show that how you can resolve it just a quick information that uh, all of my power bi videos I save it uh, in this google which is here and uh, what I uh, basically keep a track of all the videos that I am producing and the current video is this one so the the objective behind creating this sheet is so that you can easily come over here search any of the video or any of the previous video that I have uploaded and you can jump onto that using the link present in column B that way searching become very easy and you can refer to any of my previous video whenever you want so make sure you bookmark this and uh, get the most out of it all right let's cut back to power bi okay so what do I what are we uh, going to do is we will going to wrap it around the function called max x so what max x is expecting first is table so filter returns the table right so that is what we are giving it right over here and then we can uh, the next thing is we can simply provide that we need year and order date over here and that way since i want to get the current year information and i was getting that error I will be able to resolve that issue. Now you can see the problem has gone and I can check all of this information by creating this current year over here and right now it is returning blank. The reason for it is uh, the data that I am having in the super store is still 2022 but what we are having today is the date for 2023 right otherwise it would have given you the correct value but objective is that if you are facing this issue wrap this function around the max x and get the column that you need and it will give you the output so that is what i wanted to show you how you can resolve this problem and what is the problem why this problem is coming hopefully you will uh, you will now be uh, you will not be able to uh, uh, you know uh, sort of uh, run into an issue into this kind of a problem again because you know the solution all right with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video the new topic